Thief Simulator. Have you ever wanted to rob a house of everything in it in a world that posits a neighborhood so bad that the whole place could be robbed and there just wouldn't be any cops around all the time? Well, enough about Detroit. <laughs> kidding, kidding. Thief Simulator reminded me a lot of Postal 2, a game I truly love, and I hope it comes to the Switch eventually. It has the same smallish open world for you to explore and things for you to find. Sure, Postal 2 is way more violent, but it has the same feel the way the world is, in a way that it says, hey, let's see what you could do and what's around this corner. Now, this isn't the prettiest game to look at. Everything is rendered in what I would call Wii level graphics, but I find it charming. I didn't dislike the look of the game at all. Sometimes simplistic, Thief Simulator. Have you ever wanted to rub a house with everything in it? Wait, hold on. Didn't I do this already? Did I get another crash? I hate it when it does that. Where was I? Oh yeah, controls. It controls very loosely. I constantly had problems with the reticle to get it to land on the things I wanted. You can adjust the speed and flow of it, but it just never quite worked the way I wanted. See, when you're trying to scope out cameras and get it to land on where you want, it could be an exercise in frustration. However, the gameplay makes up for it. They give you ever-increasing security or tenant difficulties to make things more interesting. You level up by stealing more and more things. The owners of the houses that you rob will restock the house whenever you leave the neighborhood, which is very odd. I believe it's always the same things in the same places, but some stuff will not respawn, like the more expensive pieces of jewelry or electronics, as well as cash that you find on hand. You're gonna need that cash to buy tools, which will help you beat the ever increasing difficulty in the security systems that you come across. The tools that you use will make you play a very short mini game Game. Most of them were very easy to do, but the first level lock picking one was just broken. It's played just like the ones in Fallout where you have to move the bobby pin into the correct position, but oftentimes it wouldn't work as intended. The other lock picking game was much better and I felt they should have just stuck with that one, as that was kind of an original idea, where you have to shoot down the pins and then hit the button as it goes to the bottom. Everything is played out through phone calls that Thief Simulator. Have you ever wanted to rob a house with everything in it? Uh, not again. The phone calls come from a guy named Vinny, who I swear must be watching you 24 seven. No matter where you are, if you complete a story mission, he'll know it immediately. So you're trying to pay your debt off to him, and I get that. But I've heard of helicopter parents, but helicopter gangsters? This guy is way too invested in our lives. Sure, it's helpful to get you to understand the basics of how to play, but the way it comes off is not realistic at all. But this of course comes from a game where it's totally normal to have every house in the neighborhood robbed multiple times. There's just something really fun about cleaning a house out of everything they own, even if you have to do it quite a few times. They give you 10 times the experience the first time you steal an object in it, so you're encouraged to go back and find everything to level up your character. Now this is one of the things that might be most frustrating for people, as there is a lot of grind. Thief Simulator. Have you ever wanted to? No! I will not let this game beat me. I'm gonna finish this review. There is a lot of grinding in this game. As much fun as it is to go to a house multiple times, the way you have to visit the same places over and over again for the first few hours might get a little repetitive for some. All right, calm down. I'm gonna get through this. However, it gets more interesting when you get to the more security conscious neighborhood where you can steal cars and rob what feels like mansions. However, in order to sell high-end products, you have to... Thief Samuel! Ah! Enough of this! Okay, I'm gonna talk about the terrible camera angles in a second. I need to talk about the multiple crashes I had playing this. This thing crashed on me 12 times while I was playing this game. 12! I tried resetting my Switch or looking for an update. It just didn't work. The publisher actually said they're working on a fix when I complained on Twitter. Now, this is the second game in a row that I've had crashes. The last one only happened once, and this one was just consistently. It happened way more often when I got to the second neighborhood. So if it's my Switch or if it's their problem with the game, I just don't know. But I'm just giving the warning right now. But since it uses an autosave feature, which is really generous, it's really never bugged me too much. It was just more annoying. Now let's talk about the worst part of this game. The way you interact with the world. It was just terrible. Let's start with the camera when it's breaking down items. It's really bad that in the jewelry minigame, you have to maneuver around using a broken camera to get to the jewels. It was bad, but not unplayable. However, trying to break down a car is just ridiculously bad. The camera will fight you and will make you do some of the most tedious things to make you break down a car. It's like someone made this as a VR game and then reworked it for the console without fixing it. Thief Simulator is way more fun than you might expect. Sure, there are a ton of quality of life fixes that they could make to make things more fun to play. But the thing is, I can't believe this, but I really did enjoy my time with it. Graphically, it looked really simplistic, but it worked for the gameplay it had in it. The AI was as dumb as a box of rocks. 
box. They will follow patterns like staring out windows for hours, which is one minute per second of real game time. All right, so should you buy this? Nah, not right now. Not with all the crashing problems. And they need to make some adjustments to the gameplay to make things a little bit more enjoyable. If you find this on sale for under $10, then I say, yeah, go for it. It was a fun game that's better than you might expect. Woohoo, I made it to the end without any more crashes. Thief Simulator. Have you ever wanted to- Oh, come on!